Hey, dog moms. I hope you're having a great day. And I hope you had a great weekend, a great 4th of July weekend. Um, it's actually one of the reasons I wanted to come in and talk to you guys today because there have been um, a couple of topics that I've been getting a lot of questions about. We'll just say that. <laughs> um, there's been a lot of things of, obviously, my dog is scared of fireworks. So pop it in the chat. If your dog gets scared of fireworks, pop that in the chat with maybe like a little firework emoji or something. And let me know if your dogs are scared of fireworks. Uh, Mischief, she didn't like the booms from fireworks that not that she was like super scared of them. But her big thing was she didn't like thunderstorms. So she didn't like the boom of the thunderstorms. Um, gunshots, anything like that. So if that is your dog, pop that in the chat. Let me know. And this live is completely for you. Uh, some other things that dogs don't like. Um, hey, Facebook user. I'm not sure who that is. You might have to go above and um, like let it say your name. But I can also go after the fact and, and check out who you are. Um, but if your dog also gets things like, like if your dog gets separation anxiety when you go to work or if you're leaving, um, if your dog gets scared or car sick, like not wanting to go into the car, um, getting car sick, those types of things, then I've got some really amazing products that could really help your pet. And I really want to talk to you guys about them today because I've seen what it's done for my dogs. Um, pretty much mischief was the only one. Keaton could care less. And Breck, well, he's really amazing because the breeders did a lot of that sort of uh, desensitization, <laughs> which is something you can work on with your dogs. Um, kind of like a desensitization with him when he was a puppy. So he doesn't get scared of anything. And a lot of the training that I had to do with him was in the car. So he loves it. He absolutely loves the car. So my current dogs don't really have these issues, but we had a lot of these issues with mischief. So um, a couple of things that I'll talk to you guys about. So if your dog is destructive, like if your dog is, you know, burrowing, if you're in the kennel and he's burrowing in the kennel, or maybe he rips up some of the couch, he chews on those types of things when he gets nervous or scared, uh, it's Holly and Chloe. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, Chloe gets scared going to the vets and she gets anxious around strangers and when kids get too wild. Okay, perfect. Love that comment. Thank you. Thank you. So for Chloe, things like um, if you know that the kids are going to be kind of one of the easiest thing is if you know that the kids are going to be a little bit too crazy, I would have a nice safe place that she can go to. If that's not something that she wants to be involved with, then um, I would if she just like gets scared, gets up on the couch, it's just like, nope, I don't want to do that. So maybe there's a kennel area, maybe there's a go place bed, um, a bed that's in like the bedroom or something, something where she can kind of go uh, and get away from the excitement and the craziness and the strangers. Uh, I know that some dogs that get very anxious around strangers, they don't need to meet everybody. They, if they're in your house, it's totally okay. Uh, but if you know that you're going to have house guests, if you know that you're going to have parties, so I do have to do this with my cats. Um, AJ was my my most scared one, but my other cats, they sometimes will take a little bit more time to kind of come up from the basement. And so I use uh, this product here. It's called Chillax, and it's just a nice chewable. So for the cats, oh, this one is not, it's not open yet, uh, but it's, it's the same thing. This one is open. So these are the large chews. So this is for like size 26 and over. Um, so you might want this for Chloe, but I'm, I'm, I can't remember. I can't remember how much she weighs. Anyway, <laughs> you can either give it as a treat or like with, for my cats, I just take this and I will mix it into their wet food. I will give that to them in the morning to really make sure that it gets into their system. So with these two products, you really do want to make sure that 
this is something that you get into their system prior to them getting excited. But prior to, I mean, with kids getting excited, that's kind of like a daily thing. That's kind of all the time. But if you know that you're going to be having um, like people over, I would give these products at least an hour before you know the, the pets are going to, or that your friends are going to be coming over. Uh, 55 pounds. Okay. That's what I was, I thought she was bigger, um, but I couldn't. I couldn't remember because I know some of those minis are just really mini. <laughs> so yeah, you'd want like the larger size. Uh, let's see, like two soft chews every 12 hours. And so um, same thing with going to the vet office. Now I do know specifically this does have, uh, which ingredient is this? I think it's rosemary extract. That, so like if they're going to go and have... <clears throat> um like a surgery or something like that that's uh, that's something you don't want to give prior to a surgery so there are some times and you can talk with your vet about it as well to know okay is this a time that i can give this to her prior to going into the car prior to going to the vet to help her during that situation and so when it comes to something like that definitely making sure that if you have a certain routine that you give that to her at least an hour beforehand. So if she knows like, oh, this specific leash or the harness means I'm going to the vet, you want to give that to her at least an hour beforehand. So it gets into her system. So she's already at a calm state. So if you think about it, like if you've got rising water as like your anxiety level, you want to start opening that dam to release the anxiety when it's down here. When it's already up here it's and you're still trying to get it out of this little tiny spot, it can't flow out very fast. So if you can get the anxiety before it starts to rise, that's really the best thing. Um, so you can kind of just get that anxiety out of the dog system. And there's some other things too, obviously making sure that your dogs really exercise prior to going to the vet. So they're more, they don't have as much energy. They're not as crazy. I know if we're going to be having people over Breck with being a one and a half year old, I'm definitely going to make sure that he is wore out and he just kind of wants to lay around, get some pets, but he's not going to be a crazy person. So he that kind of bringing down that anxiety can also be done by puzzle games, um, going for a smelly walk. So not even really that far, but just going to someplace new and letting them smell around really works the brain, really helps to decrease that energy level when it comes to car rides going on the vet or going to the vet uh, when people come over. Um, if your dog really likes to chew on bones, uh, so this is one of the things that if they get destructive, uh, so starting with these products, starting with the, the Chillax, uh, those are great to kind of bring down that energy. But if they're destructive or if they kind of get crazy in the car, I actually have one of my customers, she gives these CBD bones also to her dog while it's in the car. So when they're driving up north uh, to go to their lake house, they... Um, are um she will give the chillax but she'll also give them the cbd bone so what this is is it's coated in cbd chillax and they can chew on it as you can see breck has really worn on this one <laughs> this was from when he we still had him as a puppy um and so this one is like we've got the two different sizes so depending on the size of dog this is obviously for larger dogs, but he still likes this one. Uh, but it's coated in the CBD Chillax. It's got like a nice coating on it. These are nylon. They're super tough. I mean, like you can't really break these in half. Like I'm not even that strong, but you know what I mean? Like you can run these over the car basically, and these are not going to break. So these are great for even super chewers. These are super awesome. And it gives them a destructive outlet, but also gives them another layer of the CBD. Uh, chillax. So this, these are actually a hemp based product. So this just has, um, I'll read off some of the ingredients. Um, Brewerjees, canola oil, dry, dry um, but hemp seed oil, hemp seed powder, cal um, chamomile, passion flower, ginger. Uh, and there's just like a bunch of things in here. Lavender, melatonin. So there's a lot of things in here that just really calm, like even things that we would take to calm us down. So there's that. Now, if you've got a dog 
that is real crazy. So pop in the chat if you've got a dog that is super, super crazy and you just kind of never know when things are going to be popping up or when your dog might be getting a little crazy, things like that. There is a combo that you can do to really help bring that down. So we do have this product. It's called CBD Mega. So this is an actual CBD product. Again, this one's hemp, like hemp seed, and this is a full CBD. So this one, it's not open, but I got to give it to the dogs later on today anyway. Um, so this one is, is this for like an everyday? Oh, breakfast, do you want some? Okay, you can have one. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so it's just like this nice black chew. And this is just something that you give daily. Now, I give, I've give i been giving this to Keaton daily uh, for, I don't know, at least a year, something like that. Now, this does have things like the passion flute, passion flower, <laughs> And valerian root, sorry, combined those two. Um, the CBD extract, hemp extract. Um, so this CBD is from Broad Spectrum, so I do get I do get asked that. So it does have calming properties in here, but I don't notice a difference with Keaton because he gets this every single day. So if you've got a dog that's real crazy, really destructive, maybe it's that like high separation anxiety, these products in conjunction can really help with things on the, the higher end, but also it can help you with training. So if maybe your dog gets really excited and just is kind of just a nut job when you try to go and do some sort of training with them around the separation anxiety, these products will help to bring down that anxiety so you can do things like putting them into a go place bed and walking around the corner and coming back without them freaking out. So this kind of, this can also be a training tool, uh, even this. So giving, putting this on their go place bed, as you're starting to train out some of that separation anxiety, these are really great tools. Um, you can work with trainers, you can work with your veterinarian to kind of help with, because separation anxiety is something that can be trained down or completely out of dogs. Um, and these can just be used as tools. So again, this is, um, it's a, like a daily CBD that you would you'd get, like I said, give it daily. Um, but when you add like the CBD, or sorry, the Chillax in with it, it's a great combo to really help your dog. And so these are all natural products. They're developed by veterinarians and nutritionists. So they are super, super safe. And you don't have to do things like trazodone or, you know, other things that you that you get from your vet. If, if you get those things from your vet, you can ask them um, to see, hey, can I add some all natural products to help bring that down? I know there's like felt off. Uh, Feely away that you can kind of plug in, maybe putting your dog into a room or near their kennel. So all of these things can really help to bring down your dog's anxiety when it's like the end of the world, like last weekend, um, you know, different holidays, people will be having fireworks and sparklers and all those different types of things. So just always having some of these things on hand is really helpful. Even though Keaton and Breck, they're probably not really going to need them, but I love to have these on hand also for my local customers because if they need them i love to be able to be like here let's just meet up i'll get you some for your dog because it won't get shipped to you in time like i love meeting up with my local customers and helping them out that way so if you guys have any questions pop them in the chat let me know if you know of somebody that has a dog that has crazy separation anxiety or gets sick in the car maybe um, they are scared of fireworks and thunderstorms there's maybe it's even like every time you mow the lawn the dog goes crazy again a lot of these things can be trained out of dogs and these products can help with that so if you guys have that uh, share it with your friends, share this live with your friends. Let me know if any way that I can help. Uh, they all do come with a hundred percent money back guarantee. So you can try these products out for 90 days. You can try the bone out for 90 days. If you aren't happy with it, we'll give you your money back. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope you guys have a great uh, weekend. It looks like it's going to be glorious in Michigan. And so hopefully we'll be able to get out with the dogs. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. I right, talk to you soon. Bye.